everyone in this room is a part of the Dress for Success Summit, and you all are transitioning into the workplace, right? Yeah. Or awesome. working. Or working. Or working. Or working. Okay. So I just want to say congratulations to you first. You all are an inspiration to me as a hairstylist because I meet women every single day. And the thing that we talk about most is life and you know how life impacts us and how we impact life. So we're here today representing Strength of Nature because we believe that your hair has a major impact on your life, your appearance, your self-esteem, and everything that comes along with that. So we just want to share with you some tips that you can use and take home with you so that you can be interview ready or even just office ready for the workplace. Is that okay? Yes. Yes. All right. So we have two models today. And I'm going to introduce them. This is Diane. Whenever you're at home, you know, the first thing we do is we just go right here. Right here. And then, uh, so we don't want to do that. We just want to always start at the ends and work our way up. The ends are usually the most damaged part of the hair strand. And work our way up. This oil is going to help control her frizz. It's going to help control the flyaways. And it's going to give her hair the most amount of shine. If you need more, always apply, again, very little. Just a little bit goes a long way, but if you need more, just start back with a little. What do you think about her shine now? Tell me if I need more. No. No. So I feel like if I add too much more, it's going to be weighed down. So you just want a little bit. Healthy hair does not require a lot or a ton of product. So Angela, tell me some concerns that you have about your hair. Some concerns would be uh, the frizz, especially since my hair is curly, and with the summer arriving, um, it's going to be frizzy. Frizzy. So that's a huge discouragement for us who have curly hair. Frizz is like our number one, you know, that is if you're like your hair straight. So if you want to wear it curly and you want to keep it hydrated because you know you go back and forth between curly and straight, use the African Pride. But if you're a natural who always wear your hair straight, use the Elastic QP. The reason for that is the African Pride has more oil in it. It's heavier, so it's a thicker substance. It will weigh the hair down when it's straight. If you use the Elastic QP, it's lighter, but it has the right amount of oils and, and avocado oils and mango butters, all of those products that you need to keep it hydrated and shiny, you know, but it's not too heavy. It won't weigh your straight hair down. So the Elastic QP will be perfect for you. Okay? And keep in mind also, do not flat iron your hair, but at least once a week. What? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> How many times do you flat iron your hair? Every morning. What? <laughs> Twice a day if I'm trying to do something. Okay. <laughs> so why is it that you feel like you should flat iron stuff is out of complete control? <laughs> And that's, I'm happy you said that and that you're very honest because that's the number one cause of heat damage. That's why I had to cut it off. <laughs> See? See where we're going? So the more heat you use, the less moisturizer you use, but oil. So I'm going to have Shawana to apply that because I've already been playing in Diane's hair. And we'll have Shawana to apply a little bit of oil. And just a, a nickel size amount or dime size amount will go a long way. You never want to use too much oil on um, lighter hair textures, Caucasian hair textures. Um, anybody who has a finer grade of hair, too much oil can weigh it down. So just a little bit on the end, not too much at the root, especially because that's where the oil travels from. Okay.